So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, we welcome you uh, who are joining us from afar, especially uh, to Queen of the Apostles in Toma. I'm Father Sam McCarty. I'm the associate pastor here. Uh, Deacon Bob uh, is helping out uh, uh, as well. And we're, again, glad to be with you and, and to pray with you as we begin this journey of Advent, journey towards Christmas, remembering especially the second coming of our Lord as well. Our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe, and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord our justice, the word of the Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and for you I wait all the day. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. To you, o Lord, I lift my soul. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. A reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus, with all his holy ones. Amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you, as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the seas and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. The powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. So I don't know if you've ever been around a young child when the holidays are approaching, but children are very aware of the holidays. Very aware, for example, I remember this past October, basically the entire month of October, we were excited for Halloween. The kids knew what was coming, they knew how they were going to dress up, they were anticipating it very eagerly. What's not to love? It's free candy, it's dressing up, it's a, it's a great holiday. True is, same thing is true also with, with birthdays. You can ask a, a kid today and they could give you a, a count out to their birthday in April. They could tell you how many days it is and how excited they are for that. Again, a good thing. What's the, sort of the crown of all of that? It's the celebration of Christmas. Young children, they, they know very well how far Christmas is and, and they're excited for it. And that's a good thing. They have this eager this vigilant expectation for it. That's the invitation for us today, is to reclaim our, our childlikeness. I'm not sure if that's a word, but, but be like children again in, in our anticipation for the Lord. He says in the gospel today, be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. Is this reminder for us that during the season of Advent, we anticipate not just the coming of the Lord at Christmas, which we know and we remember, but also the second coming of Jesus. But how should we do that? How do we prepare our hearts for that? Like the children do, with eager, with vigilant expectation. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things remain, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was the crown of the Virgin Mary, and he came in heaven. For our sake he was crucified by the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants all to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. For the holy church of God, let the Lord guide it and protect it. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the peoples of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our brothers and sisters in need, especially those yet unborn, that the Lord assist them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our diocesan community, that we offer an acceptable sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith. Through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, you should enter under my room. roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. 
Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Hello everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Each and every week we have the opportunity to share the message of Jesus Christ with you, especially for those of you who are homebound and may be sick at this particular time. We share the blessings of Jesus through the Eucharist, and we thank you for your support of this ministry. May God continue to reward you and bring you blessings, health, and happiness for this new year and for all the days of your life.